and YouTube welcome to another Batman update so it's been a pretty good couple weeks for me I know I did an update earlier this year usually I try to do between three or four of these a year and those new to my channel what I usually do is I save up uh, the Batman issues that I buy and I used to usually do a separate video for them once in a while though one or two will sneak in when I'm doing a haul video but you know then I do one um, one giant Batman haul video and this, these videos are basically just for me uh, but I just put them on YouTube <laughs> because I'm like I said I'm a run collector I'm trying to collect issues 100 to 713 of volume 1 new 52 I already have um, everything I want except for first printing of issue 1 and uh, rebirth I have everything I want uh, right now so so I'm still collecting uh going through volume one here and I've been collecting since I was 14 years old Batman that one of the first Batman issues I or one of the first issues I bought with my own money was Batman uh, Batman issue 352 and it's uh it's been off and on for almost let's see close to 30 years now I think it's 20 years <laughs> that I've been putting this set together and I leave for a while and I come back and, but the last couple of years I've been on a pretty pretty decent run here of staying with it uh, until the next thing in life shows up <laughs> and I have to stop collecting for a while but but the, this is a big deal for me this uh, video this is a uh, this if this if, if YouTube was a cover, this would have a bunch of lumen or a bunch of foil, maybe a 3D cover on it. But uh, I'm finally under 100 issues here. As you can see, I picked up about 14 issues that I needed, and so I only need 93 issues, which is a big dang deal. For <laughs> uh, you can see um, issues 100 to 199, I need 64 issues, which is a lot. I'm not trying to sugarcoat that at all. 64% of the books I need for that. But two hundred to two ninety nine. Um, this is pretty good, well within reach here. Uh, I think I get this done by next year. Have everything I need. So I'm hoping by this time next year I can say I can have it completed. Like I have underneath three hundred there. Uh, these are all the issues you, I need. As you can see, the ones with the squares are the the key issues that I really need. And there's. What, one, two, three, four, five of them. Uh, let's see. And you can see they're on my li want list. For two, two of them are on my want list. I want to get those two out of the way. I, I, I almost pulled the trigger on 171 a couple weeks ago. The price just wasn't right, and it wasn't happening. Uh, Batman 251. Uh, it's one of them books that if you want in decent condition... Uh, Probably gotta buy it sooner than later because for some reason, uh, well, I know the reason it's a has a beautiful co Neil Adams cover on it, but <laughs> it's just not it's just not coming down. So at least not now. Not to say in five years it'll be under hundred again. But so again, I have a nice, pretty nice stack here, and let's share the books here. So we'll start off with. A, some Silver Age. Uh, it's Batman issue 150. Uh, it got a nice subscription crease in the middle. My collection, the way I see it, the older the issues get, the less picky I have to be. Um, I just don't got all kind of money to be <laughs> spending. And uh, I want to get this set done sometime this, you know, before I'm <laughs> before I turn 50. I want to get this done. <laughs> I think we're going Superman. <laughs> Uh, next up, this is sort of a first appearance here at uh, Batman issue 152. I believe it's the first appearance of the False Face Society. Uh, a group that's with black masks, so uh, who knows. But as you can see, it's got a little bit of issue up in the corner there. Uh, also, the there's a Joker appearance in here too. Hope I didn't spoil that for anybody. <laughs> I think yeah, after you know, 50 years, you can start. <laughs> uh, next up, 
We got Batman issue 154. Got a Bob Kane cover on there. <laughs> I believe this is one of the last ones with his name, uh, the actual name Bob Kane on it. So I got a few of those. Okay, next up, Batman issue 160. Again, the price I paid for these books, uh, I think the average price was maybe eight bucks each. So, and I'm not talking about the last couple issues either. <laughs> yeah, but these, it's like right now, like 14 year old me is just like, like static. Yeah, you know? I never thought I'd own any of these books when I was younger. It's just like they just weren't around. And the back issues, and I mean, it was just a lot of, because back in the 90s, nobody was even caring about most of these books. Uh, Batman issue 161, a Mad Hatter story in here. The Batmite. I always thought this was a cool cover, too. I just think, uh, getting Bat Batman getting punched right out the window. <laughs> it's uh, This is Batman issue 168. Here's another cool cover right here. Oh, losing it. Ah, right, get out. Let's pull this back just a little bit more. There we go. Uh, this is Batman issue 184. I mean, for a black cover, uh, it looks pretty decent for how old it is. So, I mean, it's got some stuff right there, but some ticks but overall it's a pretty nice book uh, this book uh, I picked up at Steel City Con this is an upgrade from my other issue that I have uh, this is Batman 189 first Silver Age Joker or <laughs> first Silver Age Scarecrow <laughs> but uh, on the back cover it's got a piece missing read about here so, again Moving on up, the, moving up the ladder. Eventually, I will get a decent size, or I want to get a, you know, 5.0 or better. But right now, this will do for me. All right. Got the nice yellow cover here on Batman 207. Got some machine guns going down here. <laughs> It's cool, like looking at. Yeah, you know, I was reading through some some of these issues, just a different time setting and stuff like. It's like a time capsule almost. Uh, Batman issue two fourteen, I believe this is the first issue where they started using um, Alfred Pennyworth as his name. So I'm not not really a key. Yeah, I guess it could be a key, minor, very minor. <laughs> Yeah, with the uh, first uh, Pennyworth in here. There's another cool cover right there. This is Batman issue 216. All right, now we get to the uh, not so expensive issues. I ended up paying almost as much as, <laughs> as some of those other books. Uh, Batman issue 282. Finally getting, uh, I'm, I think I'm issue 295. Then I'll have a nice, really nice run of, uh, I think all the way up to like 260 or something to current. So I got to get that 295 out of the way. And I got outbid by somebody by a quarter on the mother for that issue a couple of days ago. But I'm lucky because I looked at it and uh, had a nice big, crease on the middle of it or uh, on the uh, corner there you got Batman issue 287 one of those books I thought I had for a while and then I just like think again you know? <laughs> but uh, the penguin on the cover it's a nice Mike Rell cover too I believe he did the uh, interior on this too so 
And these uh, last couple issues, uh, basically I needed this issue to put the, this Batman issue 417, uh, first appearance of KG Beast. Just another issue I needed to um, make another set of uh, Tonight's of the Beast. So now that I have two sets of it now, finally. And uh, if you watched some of my earlier videos when I first started, uh, I was at a con. And I was going to buy this set off uh, a guy, and he wouldn't come down on price. He only wanted 20 bucks for the set. I mean, <laughs> and I went back to buy it, and it was gone, of course. And yeah, I was kicking myself in the multiple videos for not buying it. Then now, for probably pretty close to 20 bucks, I have two sets of the same. <laughs> so it just shows you get, it goes to show just to hold off, you know, eventually prices come down on some of these books, and especially the, you know, the, anything between like 88 and 96. I mean, there's so many of these books out there, it's just not even funny. Especially around 88 and 89, that's when the, the hype was for the Batman movie and stuff. So, and I got Batman issue 424. This is a second printing. I'm going back through uh, my collection and and I only bought this for 50 cents. So this is 50 cents. So I picked it up. And anything I can find dirt cheap for the later issues that I need. Like I want to get uh for Batman issue 497. I want to get the first, second, and third printing of that. That's on my want list. I got multiple covered or multiple issues. I got the newsstand and I got the first printing, but I don't have either the uh either of the, the printing you know, second or third printing so but uh th this is the second printing of issue 424 and I also picked up the second printing of issue 425 but now I got I believe I got the new stand and the direct version of each one of these issues and now I got the second printing I'm not sure how many printings are I've been trying to like do some research on it but I know from was it 397 to um, right before death of the family death in the family I mean there was multiple printings they, they used to come in uh, three packs and stuff they were sold at um, department stores so I I mean some of them have up to six printings uh, <laughs> I think I have a couple of six printings of it was either 414 or 412 13 or something like that so i know that they're out there and it's just now now i'm just gives me something to do when i'm looking through all these dollar bins and i come across these issues that i already have uh and i can't upgrade them anymore because they're basically 9.8 <laughs> so now i'm just going making sure i got um the direct the new stand edition and uh the extra printings so. So I'm going to be working on 497. It gives me something to look through when I'm digging through all these dollar bins and stuff like that. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, sorry this video went over 10 minutes. I usually try to keep it less than 10 minutes, but it was a pretty decent, big, decent haul here. Uh, so happy now that I'm finally under 100 issues. I all of a sudden got rejuvenated. Now I'm like, out, out for the hunt. I'd like to be down by the end of the year. I'd like to be pretty close to... I want to say, I think 80, 80 is a safe number, so only 13 more issues for the rest of the year, so there might not be too many Batman updates from here on out, but that's not saying I may or may not, rumor, uh, spoiler, <laughs> have two in the mail coming, <laughs> I may have one of them on eBay, but, uh, so thanks again for watching, uh, please check out my Instagram channel, or Instagram page, account, whatever, uh, it's Blackhand. 2814. I'll leave a link down below. Uh, I always post, put different things up there, so check it out. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.